Alright, the uh, Friday, week 12. Four weeks left, but actually only uh, three class sessions left. If you're interested in cybersecurity and haven't talked to me, uh, let me know. Assessment we took. If you have questions on any of the items, um, you need to let me know. I'll go over them if you can't figure out uh, what you got wrong. We took a look ahead next week. Talk about security. We'll finish up chapter 6 and 7. And we'll also do some work on the network that we worked on today. A little more on configuring devices. Um, actually doing adding the IP and the information talk about security and today we talked a little bit about train ugly last thing that we'll talk about in terms of learning alright today we um, were on the PCs on four different switches and we were able then to look at <clears throat> the information, the IP and so forth on the devices. We had some networks we could ping, more or less send uh, traffic, send traffic from a PC actually to that point and then get it back. And as another example, from here all the way up to the firewall and get the information back and then we we actually were able to go through the firewall out to the internet and back um, next week we'll talk a little more about the firewall um, we looked at NAT the address translation and we also looked at from this router we looked at the DH CP in the router. <clears throat> so next Friday we will do the uh, actual configs of the PCs and then take a look at the network again and then talk about security. We also talked about the access point in the room that's actually on the main campus here. This device here sends traffic this way or to the main campus based on the IP addresses. We did show that we've got a access point also connected to our network if you want to get on that. Okay, so next Friday we'll take a look at this setup again and we'll talk. Today what the students did they gathered this information here from the PC. They took a look at the ARP. They pinged a number of addresses. And then they telneted to the router in class. In the router then, they were able to look at the DHCP and the NAT. And that information is on the next page here. Cisco was a password to uh, when they turned that into the router and they showed the DHCP bindings they showed the NAT translations this little diagram you have those wireless routers that you have in your house that you get connect to your cable modem or whatever what they really are they're a router a switch and an access point basically all in the same device okay and that was it oh I should mention to finish up here the uh, the final 
which is Friday after Thanksgiving. We only have one class after. It's mainly um, chapters 1 through 7. We already took something on 1 through 5, so we have 6 and 7. We'll finish up next Friday. There will be some questions from 8 and 9 on the final. I'm not going to take them off. So <clears throat> what I'll do is however many questions, I'll just add those points back in. And so if you get those right, some of those questions, they'll help offset any of them that you might miss on this part. Or you can think of them almost like um, a little extra credit there. Not extra credit, but some bonus points, I guess you could call them. Alright, that's it.